when I'm working in a drawing, we're often working with objects that are individual pieces of geometry. But many times that's not efficient. We want to work with a group of geometry, and those are referred to as blocks. I can group the entities together so that they operate as one object, which I can insert and manipulate inside my drawing. For example, in this drawing, I have individual items like each one of these line segments that make up the walls. But other objects, such as the sink or toilet or tub, are objects that were created and then they were made into blocks. And once they're made into blocks, all their geometry acts as one, and you notice that they have one grip that lights up when I click and select it. That one grip is referred to as a block's base point. Blocks can easily be created from any group of geometry. And once they're created, they can be used in the same drawing, or they can be used in other drawings to speed up the process of reusable content. Blocks are often referred to as symbols because they can be used as representations of common objects. In the case of this architectural drawing, things like doors or windows, plumbing fixtures, would all be symbols and they can be, this information can be stored as blocks. To see all of the blocks in this particular drawing, I could go to View, Tab, and I'm going to open my Design Center. From the Design Center, I'm going to look at the blocks that exist in this drawing. And you can see that there's a number of items. Each one of these uh, can be inserted as one object into the drawing and represents commonly found items in the house. Blocks become a very efficient way for this information to be transferred because they can be inserted into this drawing or into any other drawing or collected into libraries that can be used in multiple drawings. Also, blocks can have their own properties, they can inherit properties from layers, and they can carry attribute information such as part numbers, manufacturers, or even costs that can be extracted from the drawing. To work with blocks in my drawing, I'm going to choose the Blocks Reference tab, and on the Block Palette, you notice that I have Insert, Create, and Block Editor. These are the main tools that I'm going to use for making and inserting blocks. I also have a, a palette for working with attributes which I can add additional information uh, that's carried with the blocks.